Hey everybody, welcome. Here I got a couple of those uh, pieces of beach. Trying to figure out what to make out of them. Kind of odd shape, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a squared up piece out of them. You always got to be careful running them through uh, your table saw sideways. Make sure you're pushing them even. They will kick out fairly easy. Here I got my two pieces. I'm going to go ahead and cut a, another platform to set on top of that. It sets back about an inch or so. Squared it up a little bit on the uh, chop saw. It was off of here. Now, right now here, I could put it in there square or have a triangle. I opted to put it in a triangle just to add a little pizzazz. Get some glue in there. Nice fit. Gonna pre drill these, these antique nails. I'm purposely leaving them out, uh, nails out, centering them, matching them. Part of the design, so to speak. I'm clean the heads off. It's just kind of temporary holding it. Once it's together, it won't go anywhere. Get some of the rough edges off. Continue to work here. I got my piece of beach. I'm trying to get the height. Pretty interesting piece of wood. I enjoyed working with that. Kind of get the rough edges off here. I think I went with uh, about 16 inches. And that works for me. Kind of an awkward thing to try to attach when you can't see where your mark would be on top so just kind of snuck down below the table and that works perfect here i'm making these uh support arms for the shade which is typical of the uh early mission style uh, wood lamps. Pretty interesting to try to figure out where the uh, edge of the shade ends. But once I had one, I had the three others. That's just my pattern there. That's a pine. Did have some burn marks from the saw on a couple of them, but I went ahead and just trimmed that off the table saw. And I'm trying to get some uniformity, so I'm going to mark them all at the same time. Go ahead and get the rough edges off of everything here.
that's a uh, 40 grit paper on that sander and that just really kind of smooths it out here again I'm using the uh, nails as a design aspect so it's limited on uh, material you got to use what you have around All right, go ahead and get this wrapped up, get the border on there. Try to keep that glue wiped off and be hard later once it dries to get it out of the wood grain and you end up with a spot. attached uh, a couple of these arms so uh, I'm going to show you a couple of them just countersink the holes works quite well then I think I went back later and drilled a, a small hole underneath that screw and put a nice pen nail right in there after everything was set up. You know, I have these little uh, stainless nails. I'm packing the ends of the trim together. finish there. Now right, I decided to put feet on this uh, project. Get all the loose spurs and stuff off of them. It's also the same material. So I think, well, I'm going to offset these a little bit. Have a little bit more of a footprint. Got these uh, stainless steel screws for that countersink. It's hard wood. I have to run it in and out a few times to get it to work just right. All right, that seems all right. Perfect square them up a little bit and then I ended up moving them inboard that seemed to work a little better for me do a little more sanding get everything lined up Actually, is a little bit of spalting in that wood, so this wood's probably a hundred years old. And again, that 40 grit does pretty good on the beach. 
doesn't really scar it, it just kind of smooths it out. And I'll go back later and hit it with some other. Get all the extremely sharp edges off there. I like to keep some crisp lines, but uh, get all the sharp parts off. Sanding. I'm going to go with a clear coating on this. I'd hate to mess up the wood grain too much. It's a pretty dramatic change. Getting the end grains out of the way. Works pretty good. You can still see the fire in the front part. That is a uh, spar urethane. Semi gloss, I believe. Trying to be patient here and get all the little doodad spots. It's coming to life. base turned out quite well it's a heavy piece got some uh, stability I'm gonna go over everything here make sure there's little runs and stuff are taken care of not much to it here I got the shade out Taking a drill bit and drilling down, you know, at a pretty extreme angle to uh, get my pen nail in there. Drop a glue. That's what holds the uh, lampshade in place. It doesn't have anywhere to fall off to. It's just setting there, you know, with a nail on each uh, end. And rather than just leave it straight, I'll go ahead and just kind of bend the tip up a little bit. And that worked out quite well. It was a beautiful day to make something that day. All right, I got these uh, Edison style bulbs. I just had them laying around. I didn't go out and buy them for the project or nothing. That's not the point. The point is to use what you have around, right? Well, these worked out quite well. Pretty sturdy. All right, here's the lampshade going on for the first time with the uh, bulbs. Yeah, let's set it in it's in place that worked quite well 
All right, everybody. I appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way out. It really helps. Yeah, I appreciate the interest. Get all my fingerprints off here. All right, I'm going to test this off and get out of here, guys. My finial. All right, thank you.